Welcome to Computational Tools for Engineers. I'm John Hedengren. The course website is going to be at this link right here. Uh, we're going to be covering a couple different software tools in this course, starting with Microsoft Excel and then moving on to Python, although you could really use MATLAB or Python, which are very similar, and then also a little bit on MathCAD. So let's go ahead and go to the course website. Um, you can go there if you go to apmonitor.com, select take a course, and then select this top link here, introduction to programming or computational tools classes uh, class. Um, so on the right hand side you'll see <clears throat> links for the course information. Um, there's going to be the syllabus, which is this page, the schedule. Okay, so here's the schedule of the different lectures and the homeworks. And uh, one thing that, um, you know, with this is that we also have, so let me go ahead and just um, talk about how we're going to do this course. It's called a flipped classroom concept. Okay, so um, let me just go ahead and paste this in here. So you normally look at a course schedule and you think, um, okay, here are my homework assignments. Here, uh, you know, so we've got the class topics, okay, the class number. You know the topics these are links that will bring you to pages where you can watch the lecture material and then here is the homework number for example okay so we've got uh, the class topic homework we're also going to have a quiz each day as well uh, to prepare you for class and so that's going to cover the the material that's there in the lecture content so we we run this course differently than a typical course which is you know go get the lecture and then do the homework so what we do is we first of all we have you uh, watch the lecture okay and then you take the quiz uh, and then in class we typically just work on the homework okay so this is called a flipped uh, flipped classroom where uh, and part of the reason why we do that, um, especially with these uh, computer tools, is that you know some people are going to not need a lot on certain topics like Excel basics. They've used Excel before, and they might be able to watch that video in double speed or um, you know just kind of review the content. Whereas others have never seen Excel before and they might need a little bit of uh, you know additional information and uh, and it might take them just a little bit longer so in the flipped classroom you can really uh, on the lectures okay these are the lectures you can go as fast or slow as you need to you can rewind it you can watch it again uh, and just to verify that you've understood that information we have the quiz and then when we get together for uh, class time, and then that's that's when we work on the homework. That's where you're typically stuck anyway. Uh, and, and so we'll have group exercises uh, or homework during the course. Okay, so let me go ahead and just uh, remove this. And um, okay, so uh, here's the uh, outline of, of what we're going to be covering. Um, now I've just pasted the uh, blocks here on the right okay so you can see the Excel and VBA right there we're gonna do a little bit of Visual Basic for applications we have the MATLAB um, now you're welcome to use that as well we're actually just gonna be teaching this in Python instead okay so there's the the material for Python and then just a little bit at the end on MathCAD okay so going back to this if you just put them side by side you'll see that each of them have you know a very similar uh, structure to you know uh, we're going to do introduction conditionals we'll generate some plots functions solve equations data analysis data regression optimization we'll have a tank overflow example and then dynamic simulation okay so solving ordinary differential equations uh, so so each of these are you know essentially structured in the same way so we're covering the same content but using a different uh, tool uh, for this content. So, for example, if you wanted to see how you could uh, you know, create a function in Python, uh, but then you wanted to remember how to do that in MATLAB or Excel, 
then you would have kind of parallel content there. Okay, so that's the overview of the class. Um, let's go back to the schedule one more time just to see um, some of the topics here. Uh, there are also video links here as you go through, um, you know, that, that you can use to prepare for class each day. And then uh, we're going to have two projects in this class as well. Okay, so you have project one right here. I'm just going to go ahead and select it. Uh, now there's the first one, which is a heat exchanger project. Okay, so this is a heat exchanger design project. Um, and if you open it up, you can see a problem statement here, okay, for a heat exchanger. And then the second project, the second one, is going to be uh, essentially your choice, okay, your choice of project. Okay, so project number two is going to be, you know, in a group. And um, you can choose, uh, you know, with approval from the instructor or the TAs, uh, you can basically choose uh, your project. Okay, let me tell you just a little bit more about how to um, get the most out of this course. Um, we're going to have with, with each of these pages, okay, at the very bottom, you can also, um, you know, comment, <clears throat> make a comment down here at the bottom if there's something you didn't understand or something you figured out that <clears throat> others might be able to uh, benefit from. You can also just leave a comment down here. Um, and uh, that that will help others. Um, there's also for a class each day, you also have um, these class sessions. If you select that, now this one doesn't like uh, you know Microsoft Edge, um, so I can copy this link if I want to. Um, let me just go ahead and copy that and paste it into uh, Chrome, for example. Um, okay, so this is a WebEx uh, link. And uh, what we'll do is every day we'll just log into this WebEx. You can see my screen. We may record parts of, you know, examples or exercises as well. And then I'll post those um, on the course website. Okay, so this is a WebEx session uh, that you can log into. Okay, let me go back here again um, to the course website. Okay, uh, there's, there's also... Um, a YouTube channel um, right here, the YouTube playlist. If you just want to see all of the videos that are part of this, uh, you know, computational tools class, you can go back and just see uh, the list of content here. Okay, so um, that's it for our, uh, you know, just overview of the course. Um, let me come back to the course website. Okay, and uh, if if you're interested in some additional or related courses as well, this is going to be a one that is going to be in the future. Uh, for example, this dynamics and control kind of builds on this programming, um, uh, but it's, it talks about process control and dynamics. And then you also have an optimization class as well. Uh, this is mathematical optimization, uh, techniques in engineering, and then one final one as well, which is dynamic optimization. This is a, a graduate level class um, that really relies on the programming skills that you would learn in this class. Okay, so this, that's it for uh, the course overview. Um, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this uh, semester. It's going to be, um, you know, this this one's going to, this is uh, uh, one of my favorite classes. And part of the reason why it's one of my favorite classes is because uh, the skills that you learn here are, are uh, extremely valuable. And I, I see a number of students who, uh, you know, take this course content and, uh, and really figure out that, um, you know, programming is something they can do. And, uh, you know, it seems intimidating at first, um, you know, some of the, the uh, you know, experience, past experiences that you may have had with programming or with computers. Uh, the objective of this course is to help you feel very comfortable with uh, programming and computer tools. You know, these are, these are tools that increasingly are, are extremely important for modern engineers. Uh, be able to know how to use a computer and use it effectively 
to solve problems. So well, I'm excited about teaching this class and, and I hope you are uh, excited about uh, learning the content as well. Um, and if you have any suggestions, you know, by all means, contact me for additional content that you'd like to see in this course.